Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to quickly show you how to get the GitHub SS URL and use it to clone your repository. To find the SSH URL of the repository that you're interested in, just go to your repositories page over on github.com, find the repository that you're interested in. I'm interested in Spock, Lizard, Docker, and then just click that beautiful green code button. You'll notice there's an HTTPS link, there's a GitHub CLI link, and boom, there's an SSH link. So if you want to clone this repository, copy that link, open up PowerShell or terminal in Linux, type in git clone, paste in that value, and boom, all of a sudden it clones that repository using SSH. It does want me to confirm the key, so I click yes, and all of a sudden that whole repository comes down to my local file system. So you can see here I got files like Docker file, Jensen's file, and this.html. If I come down over here into PowerShell, You'll see there's the Spock Lizard Docker folder, and if I cd into Spock star, you'll notice that those files, like Jenkins file, Docker file, and this.html, have all been brought down, so the clone is successful. Now, by the way, you might run into some problems there. If you do, make sure that you've got keys in your .ssh folder. The SSH folder is under the user's home directory, both on Linux, Ubuntu, and Windows, and in that folder, you have to have your private key at the very least, and you should have your public key. If you've got both of those, and you still get a problem when you try an SSH, well, mosey over into GitHub, go into your settings, take a look to see if you've got your PHP SSH GPG keys. Uh, you don't need PHP, you need your SSH key. Um, and you should have a key right there. Now, if that key doesn't exist, I'll just simulate this. I'll delete that. And I think I might go in and just delete that rock, paper, scissors, Spock lizard, Docker folder so that it's gone. I'll come back here, try and run that command again. And you'll notice now I get that permission denied error. And that's because the public key no longer exists in my account. So that could be one of the reasons why you're running into trouble. Um, now, again, also, if you don't have the keys here, that's trouble as well. One way to fix this problem is to delete those keys and start over, recreate new ones. And that's actually a pretty easy thing to do. I'm gonna recreate those keys on my local machine simply by going ssh-keygen. You can do this in DOS or PowerShell, dash O dash TRSA. And I'm even gonna add in a little comment, which will be my email. and this will generate keys. Notice over here, the keys will appear as soon as I specify that that's the folder I want them to be in and I don't want a passphrase. So you notice, boom, all of a sudden I've got two files here and I've even got some pretty random art on this page. Overall, I'm just a pretty happy person. Okay, so that's step one, generating your keys. And then you open up the public key copy that whole public key and then go over once again to your settings over in GitHub, click on SSH and GPG keys, add a new SSH key and put it in there permanently. Now, the next time you go in and try and clone one of your repositories, uh, the URL won't have changed, so that's not a big deal, but I'll come over to Macro Maven. I'll grab that SSH link over here I'll come back into PowerShell and I'll say git clone in the name of that SSH URL from GitHub. Click enter. It'll ask me if I trust the keys, which I do, and it clones successfully. So there you go. That's how you find and use that GitHub SSH URL to clone a repository. And it's also a quick tour of how to get rid of any of those permission errors if you might encounter them. And there you go, that's how easy it is to get the GitHub SSS URL and clone your repository over SSH. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there, and we got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, enterprise development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNC, and please subscribe on the YouTube.